Hey, what is up? Today we're going over both creating splashes and creating loading screens between levels. And if you notice in this video, I'm wearing different clothes and I look different. It's because I originally was just gonna do the splash and then I thought later on that creating loading screens between levels would also be cool and people would probably want to know that as well. So I've gone back and recorded this and the later part of this video. So go to splash sp splashes. All right, three o'clock in the morning and I cannot fall asleep. So we're gonna do a tutorial on something random I came up with a minute ago which is splashes and splashes is blah, 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 blah. splashes if you don't know is the essentially like the loading screen picture when you're loading into an application so for one of your streaming services like Netflix or Disney or whatever they pop up with like the logo the Disney logo and then it goes to your like videos and stuff so we're going to be doing that except for with this editor thing super easy super quick so let's go to the edit and project settings, go to all settings, click here. And what we're looking for is splash, S -s splash with an L. Okay. Uh, scroll down. Uh, I have, so these are all different platforms. I am using windows. So I'm going to get the triple dots on the windows things for the editor splash. Click that. And I'm going to go to my pictures where I have cute pictures of things. So I'm going to open this and look at my little my little creatures, pretty cute, huh? And we're going to just close out of this. And then I'm going to open it back up and we'll see my cute splash. All right, so let me load it up here. This is my project. And then Voila, we have a splash. And that is it. That's that's all I wanted to show you. So, good night. All right, starting part two, which is creating loading screens in between levels. So I have my little teleport setup looking thing. So what I need to do is I want to create the loading screen. So blueprint class, uh, widgets. User widget, user widget, create a user widget. And I'm gonna go WB for widget blueprint underscore, what, what just happened? Uh, loading screen. Double click on this and I'm gonna grab a canvas panel. Drag it on here and now we have a canvas panel on here. Then we want an image, because that's, we want to have an image for the background of our loading screen. Uh, I'm gonna zero out this anchor so it's in the center, zero out. I'm place the anchor in the center. And then I want to zero out the position of the image. And then you can see that it's off. You just need to add 0.5 to the alignment on both sides here, X and Y. So now it's in the center. I don't know why it doesn't, zero isn't in the center. I guess it just uses that corner as the center, I don't know. It's just, just add 0.5 to put it in the center. All right, so for the image, I actually already have an image here. It's my cool picture. Uh, so mine wasn't in the right format originally for this. It needs to be a PNG. So what I did is I just put it into art and then I changed the, file type to, I, I saved it as a PNG. And that's all I had to do to make it the right file type. So now I can just drag it in here. Uh, I need to get the size of this box. What, what size is this box? 1920 by 1080 approximately. So if I go 1920 by 1080, it fits the entire thing. And you'd think when you load up the thing that it would look like this when you do it, right? 
but it doesn't. So there's a few things we need to do. I need to change the image size to 1920 and 1080. And I also need to um, make this thing fit. So just drag these to make it fit the entire box. And that should be good for that. So now we wanna show that it's actually loading, right? So I looked up, <laughs> I typed in loading. Uh, text, grab a text box and just drag that on here. And I'm going to first put in uh, loading, loading. And I wanna increase the scale a little bit. All right, so we have the loading and I'm gonna change this color to maybe like red. So we have loading, but you need to know, like make sure that your like thing isn't frozen, right? So having a throbber is pretty helpful. And let me change the color of this throbber. I know it's a really weird name for it, but here we go. And now you can see like the, the little dots moving. So you know your thing isn't stuck in the loading screen or frozen in the loading screen. You could still be stuck in the loading screen. So now you have this throbber. You could also done a circular throbber, which looks like you have the spinning circles, but I'm going with this one. So this is a good enough loading screen for me. So I'm just gonna save it and I'm going to need to go into the BP teleport, which has absolutely no logic in it right now. So if you look at my viewport, this is what my teleport thing looks like. I need the box and I'm going to on component begin overlap. So when my character, so the third person character so when the third person character overlaps with this box, I want to create a widget. And that widget is going to be the widget blueprint, the thing we just created, the loading screen. And then I want to add it to the viewport so we can actually see it. These things, two things go hand in hand very often. And then the next part would be going to the actual level. Well, let me create a delay here first. So create a delay so that we can see our art for a little bit. So like having like um, like a few seconds, let's say five. So five seconds. It's going to show up on. It's going to show on the screen for five seconds while it's loading the level. And then the open level by name. Uh, well, it's, it's a new map. Okay, so you have to type it exactly how it's said on there. So new map. And that's about it. So if everything I did was done the right way, then this should work. And there you go. It's loading and you can see the dot, dot, dot. It's moving. And that's about it. And then as soon as it was over, as soon as it was over, it took me to the level. Hey, I bet you're wondering why I'm back on here. Well, that's because I looked at my editor's thumbnail here and it's got this, uh, this loading bar here. I don't have this and for the sake of not clickbaiting you, I'm gonna make it. Uh, also, probably need to get rid of this quick tips thing it's become less quick the longer this has gone on so try number three to finally end this video let's first open the widget blueprint here to create the little loading bar so let's drag on this progress bar here let me extend this and I'm gonna change the color to red 
And as you can see, as this increases, you can see the red bar increase. So what I need to do is I need to get a current load and a max load. So let's go into the graph. So what I need to do is get a current load here. It's gonna be a variable current load of float. And then I need to get a max load, max load. So here I'm just gonna set the current, lo uh, current load stuff. So do that. Then I want to get the current load here. And I wanna add it to, add it to the current load. And that's going to be the set current load. So now that should, every for every tick, it's going to increase the, the loading bar. So that's good. Now let's go to designer here. And I'm gonna create the binding for the percent. So let's create binding. And I'm gonna get the current load and the max load. And I'm divide them by each other because that will get us the percent. Will give us the decimal for the percent because it's out of one. So return that value and that should fill up the bar. Now I need to get the max load. I need to click this little eyeball icon on it to make it an editable instance. And then I need to expose it on spawn. And then we need to go back into the teleport I need to refresh this node so we can see our max load here. And I'm gonna make this five. And I think that should be good. So now I'm gonna go back to map, my map, I'm trying to say two words at once. And then I'm just gonna go through here and it is loading. You can see the, the bar loading. And that is it. Hopefully that is all. Bye.